In this chapter, we will learn a quick trick to find cube root of any perfect cube in seconds. Let us start with the basics first. What is a cube? A cube is when a number is multiplied by itself three times. For example, here when we multiply 5 three times, we get cube 125. Cube root of a perfect cube is always a whole number. Example 2 is the cube root of 8. Lastly, the method we are about to learn can be used to find cube root from 1 till 99. So if it is a perfect cube with 6 digits or less, you can use this method for sure. Here is a chart with numbers, cubes and last digits. I will explain it all in just a moment. We will start with the first two columns, namely number and cube. 1 cube is 1, similarly 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27 and so on and so forth. Moving on to the third column, it has the last digit of the cubes. Like here, the last digit of cube 1 is 1. For 8, it is 8. For 27, the last digit is 7. For 64, it is 4. And so on and so forth. Now here is an interesting fact about the number and last digit column. There are few rows which are the same and few which are complementary. I have covered complementary numbers in great detail in a previous chapter. I will leave the link in the description box below. So here 1 and 1 are the same. 2 and 8 are complementary. 3 and 7 are also complementary. 4, 5 and 6 are the same. Again 7 and 8 are both complementary and 9 and 10 are the same. If you notice here, the last digit for 2 is 8 and for 8 it is 2. Similarly, for 3 the last digit is 7 and for 7 it is 3. I will highly recommend you to learn this table by heart. Knowing the cube from 1 till 10 will help you immensely in solving the questions mentally and super duper fast. Let's start with our first example. Here we have to find the cube root of 2197. We will start from the last digit of the number which is 7. Now if we refer to our cheat sheet, we can see that the corresponding number for 7 is 3. So we will write down 3. Next we will cross off 3 digits from right to left. So we will cancel 1, 9 and 7. Moving on to the next digit 2, we will again refer to our cheat sheet to see which cube is less than 2. 8 is more than 2, but 1 is less than 2. The corresponding cube root of 1 is also 1, so we will write that down as well. So our answer is 13. 13 is the cube root of 2197. A quick note here. After the first step, we will always cross off 3 digits from right to left. Say we have to find the cube root of 512. So based on the last digit, we get 8. Now we will cross off 3 digits from right to left. So we will cancel 5, 1 and 2 to get the final answer 8. Another example is where we have to find the cube root of 64. So from the cheat sheet, we can see that the last digit is 4. Next, since there are only 2 digits, we will cross off both 6 and 4. And our final answer is 4. Here is our last example. So starting from the last digit 2, we will write down the corresponding number 8. Next, we will cross off 3 digits 5, 5 and 2. Working in groups of 3 for cube, we will take the remaining digits 474 and find from the cheat sheet the cube that is less than 474. It looks like 343 is less than 474, which is the cube of number 7. So our answer is 78. In this practice quiz, we have three questions for you to solve on your own. Feel free to pause the video and take your time. The answers and explanations are provided after each question. Quiz 1. What is the cube root of 3375? Here is the answer for quiz 1.
quiz 2 what is the cube root of 97336 here is the answer and explanation for quiz 2 quiz 3 what is the cube root of 148877 here is the answer for quiz 3. Today we are ending the chapter with a quotation that has the potential to change the world. It is by Mother Teresa. Kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. Thank you and take care.